welcome guys let's look at how to fix a broken study table or a laptop table for this uh, quite a while ago and it's just broken it just doesn't stand anymore it just falls off and it's basically gone back in so i'm looking at fixing this in a in a low budget i don't want to spend too much on this so let's see if I can fix this with some PVC pipes. Okay, step one. Let's remove the old ones. Or the old stand because this is, to be honest, just a, just a piece of shit. So let's get rid of that. We might save these screws for later. These are quite good. Okay, to help fix this now, I am trying to do it with PVC pipes. So I got a really long PVC pipe lying around the house. And I've got some of these attachments from the shop close by. Let's see. Um, these basically should hold the pipes in place. I should be able to turn them 90 degrees using these attachments. And hopefully these go at the bottom of the leg. Um, and of course a bunch of screws to see if we can fix it the thing. Let's see how this goes. Once I figure out what is the length of pipe required, I will post it down in the description. Um, do let me know if you have any questions in the comments, otherwise do subscribe. Okay, so as a next step, what I've done is I've, I've cut up all the PVC pipes. I've joined a few of them, but not everything. Let's start assembling. Just while you're cutting, be aware that uh, you can cut them in different shapes and sizes. So I've just marked out a couple of markings here as to what pipe goes where. What you can do is put all of them together and then whack it out. Let's do the same with the other one as well. Hopefully both of them have turned out to be the same size. Yeah, they look exactly the same. One of the potential problems I've run into is the table is smaller than the pipe itself. So when I fix it, it will sort of end up like that. To avoid it, I would be fixing it slightly like that, which should mean I should be able to open and close it without them bumping into each other. Hopefully it works out. I don't know what will happen. The other problem that I'm running into is if I put the clamps here, they're too tight. So essentially when they're screwed in, it will be really difficult to open and close. So the solution I've come up with is taking two plywood pieces that's just lying around the house 
and bolt this to the plywood piece which would mean I would have some amount of leverage and pipe doesn't move as much. Okay, so let me just get some of these marked out and then we'll come back and finish the final assembly. Okay, now that we've got some things assembled, let's hold them off and start marking out where we're going to put these. Hope everything sits well. Give me enough of a ply in case I do something wrong. Okay, that looks about fine. Let me mark out some of these. Something I discovered is I have marked out some things before. If I interchange some of my hinges, things go for a toss. So be careful about what hinge you're putting where and make sure that it's the right hinge at the right place. Otherwise, your markings don't line up with where you've drawn your angle. So let me mark it out. Uh, that's one for me. That should be two. Just enough for me to view it. Okay. Now it's time to drill a few holes and screw them all in. Something I forgot, I should be using a piece of plywood at the bottom just in case I drill through. So let me add that in so that I'm not destroying my floor entirely. video unpacking this uh, DeWalt drill and I should tell you it's it's quite powerful and this extra handle really helps when drilling specifically small holes it's really good start assembling. I'm trying to use my trusty old screwdriver but it's not able to get the screw in. I'm guessing that's because the wood is quite strong. In case this doesn't work, I will try and switch my drill 
into a screwdriver and tighten all of these. Now what I recommend always is tighten your screws loose first so that they're not too tight because that gives you enough of an ability to turn things or loosen and re-tighten where need be in case you've got them wrong. So let me roughly put the screws in, not tighten them entirely. I do need a better screwdriver to tighten these. This is not the best of the screwdriver possible. I should really try and turn my drill into a screwdriver to tighten these. I'll do that in a minute. Okay, so while I do that, so these legs now open and close quite easily, which is good. But you do, I do realize that after going here, which is where the legs are supposed to stop, it does not. It will just continue. So that's a that's a mistake I will pay for. Um, however, I do have an idea. I should be able to put in a stopper here, some kind of a stopper, which will make sure that after it goes to this position, it will hit the stopper and pretty much stop moving further. So because I need to do that, what I will do is I will not tighten the screws further. I will just leave them here for now and try and go find a stopper that I can put in the edges that will stop this moving forward. What I am thinking of is maybe sawing off some of these extra plywood pieces that I have to size so that I can put them in the edge in a manner something like that and if I am able to get that right with the right height it should just stop when it goes there. Of course I can't have this long uh, a plywood so I might saw off something that looks a big. Um, let me draw that, cut that and come back. Okay, so I have been able to fully assemble this jig now. Uh, essentially the two clamps are here, I put a couple of pieces of plywood on either side. So it acts both as a rest so that I can pretty much use it like a plate when need be. That's quite solid, it doesn't rest on the PVC pipes. It's strong enough to take a few kilograms if I'm not wrong. Um, and then of course, when you open it, it acts like a stopper. So let's see how that works. That's quite sturdy and rugged. I'm sure a few people climbing on it will not destroy it as well. Thank you for watching folks. Do subscribe and let me know if you want to look at something else. Thank you.